with a population of two and a half million. Fortaleza is a fast-growing city, challenged by a very small mosquito, the Aedes aegypti, or Penilongo rajado, as it's known in Brazil, carries a powerful virus that causes dengue, a disease that can kill if you left untreated. Jonas Santos was only 11 when he died of dengue. In a makeshift shrine and home, his family keeps his memory alive. A person can be infected and have only mild symptoms like low fever, headaches and chills. Others like Jonas Santos will develop high fever, muscular pain and skin rashes. His father José Santos recounts the illness. Muita sede, ele sentia muita sede. Aí o que veio me despertar, a questão de, meu Deus, será que meu filho deve estar com algum sintoma de doença, tipo dengue? Aí eu, um dos sintomas são as dores, dores no corpo, ele está sentindo dor muito forte no corpo, né? mais nas pernas. E sede. Traditional methods used to control mosquito reproduction are no longer sufficient. So researchers at the Universidade Estadual do Ceará in Fortaleza are investigating new community and environmental approaches to reduce the numbers of mosquitoes that can carry dengue. So we started working in different aspects involving the communities, uh, educational activities, um, production of uh, communication material for households, calendars, leaflets and so on. Health agents and local leaders, equipped with educational materials, walk from house to house looking for mosquito breeding areas. Together with residents, they clean small water containers and discard tires that provide the perfect reproductive environment for the insect. The idea is to work with the women not only to have a, an, a clean house or a clean backyard, but having a nice backyard. So is from a bioscience perspective to an aesthetic perspective. Venancia Ferreira is a community leader in Fortaleza. She recognizes the importance of earning the trust of her neighbors when she talks to them about this new program to control dengue. É melhorou já bastante, porque as pessoas estão começando a entender mais, a se abrir mais e aceitar mais. Porque antes eles não aceitavam, porque achavam que a gente estava só com conversa, era através de político, mas depois, que, com a continuação, aí deu para entender que não tem nada a ver com política. É um trabalho do dia a dia que a gente tem com a comunidade de procurar melhorar um pouco. Early research results suggest that covering the outside containers that stores a family water supply might be more effective than using insecticides to kill the mosquito larva. What happened is that the, from uh, <clears throat> dry to uh, rainy season, we saw an increase of the larvae production, pupae per person in the control and the intervention group. But in the intervention group, it, it grew much less than in the control group. That means that an ecosystemable approach and eco-health approach is feasible, is feasible and can have result and effectiveness sometimes more than the, the traditional control program. The final research results will be known at the end of the year, but there are already positive outcomes of this approach. The city of Fortaleza is using the data produced by the research project to feed its sophisticated electronic mapping system. This way, the municipal health authorities can monitor the incidence of dengue by location and predict possible outbreaks. They can also take more effective action and better use the resources to combat dengue in Fortaleza. For instance, you can see this, this place in, in, in Fortaleza and you have a very important, huge concentration of cases. So, we need more doctors, we need more agents to try to control the disease in this place. If, if you compare with this place, we don't need the same number of agents here and here, for instance. And before this, this system, we cannot see this. With over 40 years of experience battling dengue in Brazil, Dr. José Wellington de Oliveira, co-investigating this project, is enthusiastic about the results he's seeing with this research. 
Probably the most important knowledge from this project for me was the understand that the control of dengue is very, very specific for, for blocks, or for even sometimes for houses. It works now because the closeness of the, the health work with the population, the, the, the trust, they trust it together, and something like that. The government of Brazil is pilot testing this new approach in two large municipalities. If it proves cost-effective and feasible, it will then be put into national policy. I believe that initiative is very important because the Minister of Health has the opportunity to know new approaches about dengue control. If the, the result is, is good, uh, we can implement it in, in national policy of the national dengue control program. Então, assim, o nosso trabalho foi muito importante, que mudou o modo de pensar dos moradores, a conscientização. Que nós trabalhávamos não só, ah, que vedamos tanque, que fizemos esse trabalho de peixamentos, mas o grande, a grande surpresa foi o morador se conscientizar que ele tinha que, era responsável pela sua residência, era responsável pela sua área, pelo seu bairro. Não é por ganhar, não é por ter, assim, ganha, não, faço porque ganha dinheiro, não, você não ganha. O que você ganha é ver o resultado positivo daquela pessoa, ver a felicidade daquele, do próximo. E eu gosto muito de ajudar.